Hello everyone. As I promised you in the last series, I am here with another video series. This series is going to be about scientific instruments. It is going to be a very crisp series of only two minute videos. So today's scientific instrument is a very very common instrument. It is found in almost every household. It is the thermometer. So when I was reading about thermometers, I came up with the fact that it is the most common instrument or scientific instrument used in many different fields even other than research. These are also used in medical fields mostly to measure body temperature. This is a mercury thermometer. These thermometers work on a very simple principle. The heat causes liquids, in this case mercury, to expand, forcing it up the glass column that you see and a scale is attached to it. This is a digital thermometer. These thermometers work with electric circuits in them and metal probes. And recently you must have seen such no touch thermometers that work with infrared and have a thermopole sensor. Thermometers are also used in pharmaceutical companies, sanitation departments, food industries and also in large furnaces. Some are digital like these and some are remote sensing thermometers. They call it C pyrometers. We measured temperatures in different scales like Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin and many more. As you can see here, 0 degree Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There are different scales because they were invented in different time periods at different places and with increasing technologies. We can easily make out the difference between hot and cold with our bare hands. But the thermometer puts a number on it very accurately. Galileo was the one who came up with this idea in 1593. This is how Galilean thermometer looks like. It, is, it works on the principle of varying densities. So now something for the parents. All of you must be having such thermometers at, at home. But if you don't have, you can get one in the market. It's not that expensive. So with this thermometer, you can give the kids to measure different liquid temperatures. It can be anything like bathing water or ice water or even the milk that the kids drink every day. It can be a fun activity, right? That you measure the temperature of the milk that you drink every day and then make a chart. So from this video, I can only give you information. But if you do this at home, you can get actual feel of what temperature is or you can get a hands-on experience. So I hope you will do this at home and you have loved this video. And kids, be careful with the hot water. Take help of your parents or your elder brothers and sisters. And let's meet up next time with another instrument. Bye.